hello children yes uh, you can see on your screen akbar and birbal right i hope you might have heard many stories of these two personalities like many witty stories we can say uh, like where we have can have fun and uh, there's a solution also for the questions right so we can and uh, even birbal is been titled that he is a very wise uh, <clears throat> minister right in akbar's court and uh, every time he used to get uh, what do you call one or the other award for his solving the problems right in a very witty way means he doesn't uh, what do you call doesn't solve the problems in a very serious manner he just um, uh, try to solve the problems in a very witty way it means in a very uh, like uh, what do you call a humorous way or in a joking way right so uh, which would be fun for us to listen also even uh, tanari ramakrishnan stories are also of certain of such kind right so uh, if you have a book you can just read the stories of sir akbar and birbal stories or tanali ramakrishnan stories also right children so you can have a lot of fun when you will get a witty kind of witty stories and all uh, well you have a fine uh, good jokes also a part uh, with a great uh, brain right so in that way we have another story in your in your textbook uh, that is in the page number 54 that is the foolish men right the foolish men so before that let us see what is this uh, what you call court is called as right we always know that in the olden days and all uh, this the word court is used like uh, right so even uh, you might have seen in the ramayana and all right how where the king sits on the big big the lion throne and uh, down these all ministers and other uh, the what you call guru ji and all they'll be sitting <clears throat> on the chairs down side right so this is called as a scenery of a scene of a court okay so i just want to share the picture picture here so it's a court where the king will be sitting there on the throne okay and the rest will be here but here there people are standing over there but usually sometimes uh, in the chairs also will be there for to be seated there and they have can have a lot of conversation talks and all and if any issues are there problems are there then and there uh, the king will give a solution for that or the ministers will help uh, to solve certain problems and all okay a kind of conversation will be going on between them okay so in that way this is a, a quote so here uh, in your uh, book also we have given it's given being given there a scene one right whereas emperor's emperor akbar's court okay so that's the reason that i am showing this uh, picture for you it's a court <clears throat> so here uh, these two will have a conversation so here the right side of your pick is or uh, who akbar and towards the left side is birbal okay and in this uh, uh, story also we have a conversation between these two people and uh, a, a small witty story is there let us just go for that yes so here the story name is the foolish man it's a small role play drama also it can be there if you were in the class maybe we would have done this role play also drama also right but uh, we don't have chance for that now so but let us just imagine okay and uh, uh, have this drama over through the video also right so the foolish man uh, first i am going to read for you okay then i later on i'll explain the story right The foolish men. Scene one. Emperor Akbar's court. Akbar smiling. He smiles. Birbal, do you think you can find me the five most foolish men in Agra? Birbal, without getting disturbed, disturbed. I will try, my lord. Scene two. Birbal is walking through the street of Agra, looking around carefully. He sees a man lying on his back in a puddle of water. his arms stretched wide above his head birbal what are you trying to do the man i am trying to stand up i slipped and fell into this puddle while i was on my way to buy some clothes for my wife birbal why don't you use your hands then the man but i can't do that if i change the position of my hands i will lose the measurement of the length of cloth my wife wants Bibel holds the fellow by the hair and sets him on his feet. The man, thank you, thank you. His arms still above his head. You have really helped me. Please come with me. As they move along, Bibel next sees a man riding a horse, carrying a bundle of straw on his head. Bibel, why are you carrying that straw on your head? Can you keep? Can't you keep it on the horse back behind you? Second man. 
but i can't do that this horse is very old and very weak it might die with the extra weight already it has to carry me birbal you are just the person i am looking for please follow me birbal wanders with the two foolish men following him the third the first one with his arm still above his head and the second one on still riding his horse with a bundle of straw on his head suddenly he sees a man bent in half looking for something under a street light bebel what are you searching for third man i have lost my diamond ring somewhere out there in the darkness pointing to a dark spot for uh, away from where he is finding since i could not see there over there i am looking for my ring here in the light bebel please come with me i will help you to find your ring scene 3 akbar's court bebel to akbar sir i have brought you the three most foolish men in the city of agra i judged them to be foolish from their actions akbar really very good but i asked you to bring five most foolish men not three akbar smiles bebel sir the last two most foolish men in agra are you and i you because you set me such a foolish task i because i foolishly carried out your orders that makes five doesn't it akbar laughing ye it does it certainly does okay so i hope it's a very small story so it doesn't add, i will not take much time to explain and uh, we don't get across i mean new words difficult words and all where you can't understand children maybe you might have understood when when i was reading also right so please do read the story by yourself okay uh, so now let us get into the lesson children yes here the title says the foolish men men itself says it's plural right right and foolish means we all know like stupid idiotic we can say right for them we call who is brainless for them we call foolish so it's a scene of a uh, akbar's court where an akbar and birbal are there and they are talking to each other then akbar he looks at birbal and give a smile smiling he says birbal do you think you can find me the five most foolish men in agra and he says okay birbal you are, i just want you to you a task to you okay task is like a small work can you please get me five foolish men in agra then birbal said without disturbing getting disturbed means he was not shocked he said why not sir it's very easy damn easy i will try my lord he says birbal now he sets out he goes out to in search of these foolish men right birbal is walking through the streets of agra looking around carefully he sees a man lying on his back in a puddle of water puddle is like a small pool you can see in the picture also right it's a small pool where the water is there and on that he has fallen he is lying right he can see that he is he is lying on that puddle of water his arms stretched wide above his head stretched means uh, like uh, keeping it straight okay uh, making it a long way so you can see in the picture also children he has just kept his hand as it is how he has fallen If you were there, if you had a fallen child, what would you have done? You would have taken the help of your hand and got up from there, right? But this fellow is just slept as it is how he had fallen in that puddle of water, right? So Birbal, what are you trying to do? He asked to that man. The man says, "I am trying to stand up. I slipped and fell into this puddle while I was on my way to buy some clothes for my wife." See, sir. Actually, I was going to a shop to bring some clothes for my wife, and I by mistake I slipped and I fell into this puddle of water. He explains this to Birbal. Then Birbal says, "Then why don't you use your hands then?" Then he asks, "Are you have fallen down? You are on in the water. You could have just taken the help of a hand and you would have got up from there, right?" In that way, he says. The man replies, "But I can't do that." if i change the position of my hands i will lose the measurement of length of my cloth my wife wants okay children means it's a measurement of uh, the cloth which his wife has told him to bring okay maybe i don't know what measurement she has told it means it's a measurement okay sometimes even we to do that right sometimes we when we want the measurement done or we keep the hand as it is or the fingers as it is to with other we should not get disturbed right so in the same way he has kept the measurement uh, to keep in mind the measurement and all he has used that hand and he has kept as it is because so that go you can go and tell to the shop keep care uh, tell you that i want the size of this uh, uh, what do you call length what he is showing in the picture right So he says that if I remove this hand, then I will lose the measurement, sir. That's the reason that I am not using my hand. He says it clearly. Then uh, the first target is over for uh, Birbal. Yes, don't you think that he, this fellow, this man, is foolish, there, children? Yes, he got his first fool, fool uh, on his way, 
and uh, however he will uh, he will uh, hold his hair the man birbal will hold his uh, the man's hair and he will make him to get up from the puddle of water and he says that please come with me i want uh, you, i want you some for some work then birbal holds the fellow by the hair and sets him on his feet then the man the man says thank you thank you and though he says thank you he doesn't uses his hand children he just speaks out with his mouth but he keeps his hand as it is as you see in the picture right even though when he's standing also he keeps his hand at the same uh, what you call height length right then birbal please come with me he says to this man then because he wa he wants five uh, foolish men men right so first one he got already now shall we go for the next one as they move along birbal next sees the man riding a, a horse carrying a bundle of uh, of straw on his head so straw is nothing but a dried uh, a, what do you call stalk of cereal plants it can be of uh, like jowar barley uh, maize something okay it's which is dried one dried means one giddo okay sukha hua you can see in the picture also right children over there okay in your book also you can see the picture that he is holding he is sitting on that horse and on after that on his head he is holding that uh, what do you call a straw and uh, birbal he got he was a bit confused and then he asked birbal why do you carry that straw on your head can't you keep it on a horse back behind you obviously children right if see whenever if you if you are carrying if you are sitting on the horse you won't carry any luggage right you all means what they do they will uh, keep the luggage or tie the luggage to the horse itself right then people ask us, sir what are you doing you can keep that straw at the back of the horse right why are you carrying it on your head he ask then second man says but i can't do that sir this my horse is very old this horse is very old and uh, very weak also when he says sir actually this horse is not very old and it's very weak and it might die with the extra weight already it has to carry me then see see don't you think children he is a foolish one here he says that see already it is carrying me and if i put this extra weight of this straw on its back it may die but already the straw's weight is also falling on the horse right children because it is on his head right wherever you keep if you keep at the back or if you keep on your head also the weight will increase of course right but this foolish man doesn't know that and he say, thinks says that this horse is very weak if i keep the straw on its back it may die because it is already old and very weak so second target is also over birbal gets his second man or uh, the second foolish man and he says uh, i am in search of you people you only please come with me then birbal says you are just the person i am looking for please follow me okay then birbal wanders with the two foolish men following him uh, the one, first one means uh, they two both will follow uh, follow birbal you can see in the picture also children they are not at all changing even the man is on the horse with the straw on his head and the other man the first man is uh, also walking without changing his position the way he is holding his hand means because he should not forget the measurement of the cloth right he is in the same style moving with birbal these two members the first one with his arms still above his head the second man still riding the riding the horse with a bundle of straw on his head suddenly he sees a man bent in half looking for something under the street light so you can see in the picture he is searching that fellow is searching for something then people ask what are you searching for then third man says sir i have lost my diamond ring somewhere out there in the darkness there in means not the exactly place in what they are showing in the picture he is showing somewhere in the darkness where the, there is no light na there he has lost his his uh, ring and children and he where he is searching now he is searching under the light do you think he will get his ring no right because where he has lost his uh, ring there only he has to search right but that this fellow he has lost his ring in the darkness where it was dark okay but he is uh, he is searching for this ring here in the under the light so don't you think that he is also a fool right children so obviously he says see i have lost my diamond ring somewhere out there in the darkness pointing to a dark spot far away from where he is standing since i could not see over there i am looking for my ring here in the light then he says i sir i searched there i did not get in the darkness so i thought i can get here in the light under under this uh, what do you call light so i am searching here he says then birbal's uh, third person also he got birbal please come with me i will help you to find your ring he says then finally the same three then now is akbar's coat again and birbal he brought these all of these three men 
how many people has uh, akbar has told him to bring children yes five right but he has brought only three let us see what akbar says now sir i have brought you the three most foolish men in the city of agra i have judged them to be foolish from their actions obviously right by their actions the way they were behaving the way they were the, uh, their action was going on by that only he has judged them right realize that okay these are foolish men akbar really very good but i asked you to bring five most foolish men not three then akbar says clearly but i had told you to bring five right but uh, you have brought only three what is that he asked then akbar says sir the last two most foolish men in agra are you and i then even he includes himself as well as his what do you call lord that is uh, akbar in that foolish list okay let us see why he says that over our children five over right these three men and birbal himself and akbar himself right he says that sir apart from these three we both are there even we two are also fools he says then he says the reason why you why you because you set me such a foolish task yes of course children it's a waste of time right who is going to find go and find any such foolish men and all it's just a waste of time then he says it's a foolish was a foolish task task is the time work what you gave it's a it was a foolish task for that reason you are one one more foolish and i because i foolishly carried out your orders and without thinking i said yes for your orders so even i am also a fool he says so that makes five doesn't it he says so now we are five i am a right uh, lord he says then akbar starts laughing and says yes yes it does it certainly does surely he says so in that way the story ends so here uh, i think i hope uh, this was a funny story for you uh, for your children and of course i might have enjoyed so children once again after listening to my video you read once again you will understand much better okay this question answers part everything i'll send you in the pdf okay thank you bye bye